Alrighty guys, so today we're going to do a little inside air conditioner maintenance. Yuck, yuck, and yuck. Alrighty guys, so today what we're going to do is we're going to clean up our air conditioner. Now, in theory, as much as I use this AC unit, I should clean it out twice a year. But I have a bit of a problem. I'm scared to turn it off and fear that the damn thing won't turn back on. But, I did a little maintenance on it up top here the other day, so I'm pretty good knowing that it's going to work like a champ. But, that is neither the point nor there. What we're going to do today is we're going to clean out this uh, AC unit here on the, on the inside. And we're going to put in brand new uh, washable, reusable filters uh, in the bottom of the AC unit here. So the first thing that we want to do, there's two screws, one in the back and one in the front. And we're going to go ahead and take those off and drop down the AC unit. There's two knobs up here that you got, guys. This is your uh, your AC knob here, and this is the temperature one over here. Your select knob and your temperature knob over here. So what you're going to do first, you're going to come here and just kind of very easily just pull that out like so, because it's slotted. Let's zoom into it for you there. See, it's slotted so that when it comes out, it comes out only one way, goes in only one way. And then you'll do the exact same thing for the other side. Alrighty, we got both our knobs out. So now what we can do is we're gonna go ahead and drop our air conditioner. guys when you pull this out there'll be two knobs sticking out where you just pull the controls from just remember that when you pull it out you want to slide it forward so you can get it past your two knobs here okay now uh, <clears throat> this is basically what you got is the AC filter here this portion here is uh, stays connected to the AC unit and these are the two filters here, which are absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, disgusting. I've already washed them once since I've had this RV. And they're very flimsy and they're not very useful. I'm going to put a much better one in there. But the first thing that we have to do here, guys, is we have to clean out this dirty RV. So let's take it over to a compressor and get that done. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is there's some clips that are actually holding this piece of filter in here. And I'm just going to kind of wiggle those out of place here. And we're going to reuse these clips. And depending on how the new filter sits, I may <clears throat> put in one in the middle of both of these two clips with another bit of cable. But they just kind of sit over it. Like so. And we'll take out these old filters. Very dusty, very nasty-like. As you can see, the other side of these filters is disgusting. So we'll just sit over here on the bench for now. Do the same thing with the other filter here. Now, if you notice right here, because I didn't have the right filter and I was just trying to get it clean, this thing flopped over. So what I wanted to do to keep it in place was use some duct tape, which didn't work out very well to keep the filter in place. So we'll just take that duct tape off of there. And I'll do that on both sides. Now what I do 
is we're going to clean and blow out this bottom frame of the AC filter really, really well. All right guys, so we got our old filters. So what I'm gonna do now is take the filters here and measure out what the new ones are gonna to be to this size. guys so after some measurements I have come out with a much better looking filter than the one that was there let me show you a pan difference here so if you look at the difference here you can tell that this one is a lot shorter and it actually fits it the one that was there before let me get this off of here <clears throat> The one that was there before was actually way up here on the sides, and I don't think that's actually necessary. When I put this on here now, it fits exactly in the spot it needs to be in. So, I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side over here. Then we'll put our clamps in, and I think we'll be good, guys. So let me go ahead and do the other side. Alrighty, guys, so we got them in there, uh, and I just got them placed in here. It's Basically, the thing that I want to be concerned about is that I actually cover the entire area here. I know I could probably go down a little bit with it, but that's fine. That's actually perfect. I want to make sure that I also cover the seams, the edges, to make sure that there's no gaps on the sides when the filter goes in. And it's good. And on these filters, on every filter, you'll notice that there's a mesh backing, wire mesh backing, and there's not on the other side. The wire mesh backing always goes up. Remember that. The reason being is that mesh backing is what holds the fibers of this filter together. So if you put it in backwards and the air suctions and blows out, you're just going to rip this filter to shreds. Okay? So make sure that your wire meshing is up and is on both ones. And we're going to go ahead and put our clamps back on, which are really easy. They just kind of slide back down on here like so. But I know my filter, and I need to put more on here, more of these clips to keep it down because the suction is pretty heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can fabricate me some new uh, clamps here out of some wire. I'll be right back. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is try to fabricate me a piece of wire like this, which is the clamp that goes over top of the filter. So the first thing I want to do is try to straighten this out as much as possible. Alright guys, so what you see, there's a piece I have to make and these are the two pieces of wire that I basically cut. They were rusted. I went over to the grinder and got all that rust off of them. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and bend them down to shape. Alright guys, what you see in front of you right now is the original clip. And these are the fabricated clips that I created from that base template. And as you can tell, they are pretty daggum slot on piece. So if you look over here at the filter, originally I only came with two of these and they were spaced here and here. But the problem is the ends or the middle of the sides flap up when you do that. So what I've done is I've made two more. One will go here 
and one will go here to keep that end down so that when the air pushes through or sucks up through the vents here, it won't actually flap up and the filter will actually stay down. So let me go ahead and do that to the other side and I'll bring it right back to you. Alrighty guys, what you see here is all the clips are now placed in place. As you notice, there's four of them on one side and there's four more on that side over there. So basically now what I've already done is I've already gone around my AC unit and cleaned off as much dust and debris as I can possibly find from here. And I'm going to go ahead now and put these uh, air conditioner unit back up on the wall there. <laughs> guys so we gotta do now is put our knobs back on so basically you just line it up with uh, where the knob was and press it down do the same thing with the other side alrighty guys we got everything in there as you can see the filters are in let's go ahead and hit the air conditioner and See if she blows good air. Oh yeah, she's blowing good air, and the filter is staying down like it's supposed to. It's not jumping up, staying down like it's supposed to, and I got nice cool air coming out of the air conditioner. Yeah, buddy. So that's it, guys. That's basically how you clean and change the filters uh, on your RV with a little bit of fabrication of clips for my RV filter lockdowns there. Other than that, thank you guys for joining the channel and uh, we'll check you guys next time on Camperin' with Camo. It's your boy.